Hey guys, it's Icy New Year, and I'm back with the Choose Your Own Let's Play. Um, I've recorded this episode before. You can see that I have a house started here. My audio went absolutely insane during it. Everything was fine, I'm editing away, and then halfway through, it just becomes a pretty loud shh for the rest of the video. No clue what happened. I'm kind of blaming my cats. I think they might have jiggled one of my cords. But as we all know, cats are jerks, and we're going to move on with life. So basically what I've done is, you know, as I said in the intro, I, I was going to collect some basic stuff. And I collected a bunch of wood, which as you can see, I used. Uh, I haven't gone mining at all yet. In fact, the only thing I have halfway stone is my pickaxe and my furnace. I'm out of stone completely. Um... But I looked around, and I settled down here. It's a Green Hills biome. It looks really cool. I really like it. And I've started out this house shape, which is odd. And or I, I, I don't know. I, I, I make houses that are... Ow. I make houses that are really symmetrical most of the time. And I'm tired of that. I want to try something new. We're going with this really organic shape, which was entirely made by the way... Um. The earth is up on this bluff. Like, it points out this point. I don't know. I'm really excited about this house. It's going to be different, exciting, and new. And I am happy and um, really excited for it. I don't know. Something new. I think I'm going to put a giant-ass tower here. Windows overlooking my domain. Everything the light touches belongs to me. Mm. What about those dark areas? What did I just say, I see? Everything the light touches. Ah, okay. So we're going to take, um... We're going to start this off the old-fashioned way. We're going to go do some mining. Um... I'm going to take some sticks and some wood with me. I've got a bunch of different types of wood. And as you can see, I, I have trees growing in my house. It's because I need more wood. <laughs> yeah. I want to get some, uh... Let's go ahead and grab some of these carrots, actually. I found a um, village. As you can see, I raided it, took the carrots and potatoes. Because, I mean, really, what else are villages for? Ah, uh, good times. It was in the middle of an ocean, which was weird. So, we're going to go find a place to turn into our first mine. I don't want it to be too close, because I don't want to ruin the natural beauty of my ecosystem. But this is weird. I shall call this sheep pass. Mm-hmm. But yeah, so that's um basically where we are at the moment. And I think the other stuff I was talking about... I'm trying to remember what I talked about in the intro and what I talked about in the episode that is forever lost. Um, Which I have. No, wait, I deleted that. I was going to say I could upload it without sound, but no, no, I, I deleted it. It's gone forever. No one shall ever see it. Yeah, that's not a good mine. Terrible mine. Moving on. Um, also getting dark. We should head home. We are starting off right. Wait, wait, where? Are we lost already? Is that Sheep Bluff? Yep, there's Sheep Bluff. We found it. Um, I don't know. I'm not sure where I want to set up my mine. I want to make my mine look nice and not just a hole in the ground this time. Like, I want a minecart system and all that jazz. Uh, something cool. Something fancy. <laughs> So, let's see. Oh, wait, there's a cave right here. Let's check this cave out. Oh, this is Sheep Bluff. Excellent. There's no sheep on Sheep Bluff. Hmm. Making a liar out of me. Oh, this cave looks like it could lead to endless wonders of adventure. It led to a tree. Looks like we've got another cave of disappointment. Oh, but I do hear uh, ambient sounds. So, we're going to go ahead and dig down here. But yeah, um, I can't remember what I talked about in uh, my intro and what I talked about in uh, the Lost episode. It's all kind of blending together now. Ooh, not so disappointing now, are you, Cave? <laughs> um, so I'm going to go over a few things. Basically, um, as I'm pretty sure I stated, I'm going to be adding mods every four to five episodes, three to four, just in that area. Um, I think on the first one, I'm going to add a mod after the third episode. So episode number four, we'll be putting in the new mod. And if the new mod requires a world gen of any kind, like to get new ores or 
um, if it's, you know, adds dungeons or such, we're going to add Mistcraft as well. That way we can start making new worlds and just really explore everything and not have to worry about, oh, I can't add this because there's world gen, blah, blah, blah. Huh. Go down there here in a moment. But I um, have a list of mods that I'm going to be throwing in there. And basically, what we're going to do is you can vote. And you vote by saying what mod you want added from the list I'm going to read in the comments. And I'm going to be presenting these options at the start of each um, section. So, like, in this episode... I will tell you the mods that we can vote for. And you can vote up to once per episode. I'm only going to count it one time per episode per person. So don't go, you know, spamming my comments with a thousand. I want this mod. I want this mod. I'm just... You can put one comment on each video of which mod you'd like. Well, you can put as many comments as you want, but only one on what mod you want it to. One vote. One vote per video. So, since I, as I said, this is going to be three uh, episodes before I add the next, you can get three votes for the mod you want. Mm, look at that coal. Only two iron? Mmm. You're letting me down, Cave. You're letting me down. It is probably getting night, so I think I'm going to head up. Check it. It is not getting night at all. I have lied to everyone. I apologize. Viewers, please forgive me. Ooh. Another cave. This cave looks like it could lead to endless wonders. Mystery. Don't you disappoint me, cave. What are you going to lead to? This doesn't look like that. Oh, wait, wait. Maybe there's endless wonders and mystery? We're going to make some torches then find out. Because I'm no sucker. Oh, endless wonders and mystery? Eh, a bit of iron. That's pretty wondrous and mysterical. That is a word I just made up. So, yeah. This is going to be a series where we make up a lot of words. So, not much, not, not that much wonder or mystery. We found the ocean, which, uh, kind of cool, I guess. Um, yeah. Let's go on. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. I really don't want to do strip mining yet. That stuff's boring. I might do some strip mining off camera just to get some resources up so you guys don't have to sit through, you know. Ah! This looks familiar. I think this way is to sheep bluff. So you guys don't have to sit through just a ridiculous amount of strip mining. Um, I'm not sure how long these episodes are going to be. They're probably going to vary in length. Um, probably between 15-30 minutes, right around there. It's going to take me a little bit to figure out the groove with this series, if you know what I mean. So yeah, let's head on here up here. We're gonna chop down this tree, build up a little bit more, and get our iron smelted up. That way we can have a good pick if we find anything decent. Hmm. Mm hmm. I'd like to soon head out, maybe on a boat, and try to find a autumn's autumn woods biome because they're freaking gorgeous. And if nothing else, I'd like to transplant some trees. Okay, let's pop that in there. Let that go. And while that goes, we're going to, oops, pull that up. Um, There we go. Okay. Did not mean for that to pop up, but that's just my list of mods I was looking at for this one. I put them all in the thing there so I wouldn't just stutter and stammer trying to remember. But for the first vote... um of mods added, we have three different options. Normally it's going to be four, but the one I had uh, picked out ended up... Yeah, I was dumb. I ignored the fact that it was 145. It doesn't work in 147. It hasn't been updated yet, so obviously that one's out for now. Um, but what I'm looking at, and this is really going to help set the tone for what this Let's Play is going to be... Ooh, sleepy time. Sleepy time. <laughs> is the we blah 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 buildcraft um everyone knows what buildcraft is you guys have all played with it before um industrial machines pipes yada 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 and 
obviously that one would require world gen, so we'd be adding Mistcraft as well. The other one is Better Storage, uh, which is made by Coffee Girl. It is actually a work in progress mod, but I've played with it before. It's definitely stable enough that I'd be comfortable putting it in my Let's Play. Really cool mod. Um, for those of you who know Iron Chests, you can think of it as an alternative to Iron Chests. Uh, it's a little bit more... I, I have to say balanced. Um, the storage you get isn't as huge and ridiculous. Um, yeah, and oh, some of these mods may come up on the option list multiple times. Um, I am willing to accept recommendations to put on the vote list. So if there's a mod that you'd like to see me play that I haven't put on the vote list, feel free to recommend it in the comments, and I might put it on a list for a later vote. So, let's see. I need a bunch of sand. Start up somewhere. Actually, we really do need to go mining. So let's get a pick going. We've still got some wood on us, so we're good there. Keep this sand right here. We're going to take these redwood logs in case we need more torches. And we really need a door. I think in here is where we're going to put our door for now. And by a door, I mean a hole in the wall. So, you know, roughly the same thing. Let's see. Let's check that out. That looks cool. The little hole right there. See if that leads anywhere. I'm hoping to find a cave system. Because caving is always more fun than strip mining. Um... Oh, and the third one on the list is something I have never played, but I've heard great things about it. Um, and it is a pretty big adventure mod. It's called Divine RPG. And all of these will be in the description with links. You can check them out and see, you know, what you think is ow, the best. I want to make sure. Ooh, I put myself on peaceful. I apologize. I'm going to be playing this one on normal. Um, if you guys want me to go up too hard, feel free to let me know. If I get enough people asking me to go to hard mode, I will. The one thing I'm not doing is hardcore, since yeah, I've already rolled the world and such not. And I want the series to be longer than two episodes. <laughs> ah. That was not exciting. I have been in this cave before. But yeah, I'll have all the, um, all the mods up in the description. So you guys can check them out before you vote. So that's kind of going to set the tone for what we're doing here. I mean, are we looking for a tech mod pack, um, which obviously be kind of more towards the build craft? Are we looking for an adventure mod, which would be more towards divine RPG? Or are we not sure yet? And better storage kind of goes on both of those routes. So yeah, um, let me know in the comments what you think you'd prefer. And, yep, I'm just running around in circles at this point. Hmm. I think my luck might be out. I might have to just suck it up and strip mine. Or at least start a strip mine. So, maybe, let's just check around a little more. It's not never a bad thing to get familiar with my surroundings. Not that I'll remember. I am. I have a terrible directional sense. Hmm. I know there's a lot of sheep around here. There's so many sheep around here. Not too far off, I had found an area where there was... Floating sand. Ooh. Look at that floating sand. Mmm. I had found an area where there was, uh... A decent amount of sheep, of pigs and cows, so we can lure those back to our base at some point. I think it was over this way, across these green, green hills, or meadow, or whatever the hell it's called. I found where I'm going to mine. Yeah! We're going to mine ourselves a ravine. GG, I see. So, we have iron. That's good. That's good. <laughs> you know what? Something I've never really done is build in a ravine. And I kind of want to do that. Maybe we'll, like, light up this entire ravine, glass over the top, and build rooms off in the side of this. I still want to build that house on the hill, 
but we could make a tunnel and maybe a minecart down this way. I think that'd be really cool. What do you guys think? Let me know down below how you feel about a ravine home. Something I've never done before, and I think I could have a lot of fun with it. We're going to just dirt that off for now. I kind of want the access to that water later. I'm in the better than wolves mentality where water source blocks are precious. I'm realizing that I could just put that back with a bucket. Okay, so the ravine's not terribly exciting, but I don't know. I don't know. How do you guys feel about a ravine house? We could just, I don't know. I kind of like the idea of just glassing off the top, lighting the whole thing up. Hmm, that might be a fun little starter house. Oh, okay, you know what? Let's toss one other mod in the mix. Um, I will toss mo creatures in there. And that's kind of there if you want to make my life worse. <laughs> but yeah, I think I'm going to spend some time knocking out some more resources in the in this ravine. Uh, collecting some more wood. I probably won't do any building, per se. Just, you know, collection. And um, we're going to end up the episode here. And make sure you leave a vote down below so I know what direction we're going to be taking this thing in. Um... Two more episodes, and we will add in the winning mod. And we will go from there. If you haven't already, remember to subscribe. And likes and comments always help me out, guys. I will see you next time.